Hold on, Aki here with another Destiny video, and this is the Daily Heroic Story for November 16th today, uh, which is the Garden Spire. And I'm going to run this on level 26 with my level 27 Hunter. And I do suggest if you try to run these Daily Heroic Stories, you run them with a character that's at least the level of the uh, level that you're trying, or one above, or maybe one or more above. Anyway, this particular mission uh, is a few minutes longer than most. Or I should say story is a few long minutes longer than most. Uh, but essentially it's a uh, advance and shoot and drop enemies and shoot and drop enemies, take cover once in a while and, uh, and until you get to the final boss. Uh, which is sort of like most of the stories in Destiny. Uh, but there are a couple of places where you got to be a little careful, and I'll go. try to point those out. Anyway, as we start, if uh, you're really low on ammo, uh, you may want to make a left turn right about here and go down into that little valley where the Vex and the Cobble are fighting each other and take them out and grab their ammo. But I've got enough ammo to get going here, so I'm going to bypass that. And just head on to the first... Uh, major waypoint okay and it's going to be through that little gateway opening over there up ahead to the left so just kind of ease my way up with my sparrow up across those rocks and through here and sometimes you'll see more enemies than not, but essentially that's the path. I need to locate the spire. Let's keep moving. I'll scan for a good vantage point. All right, now we get to start farting our way through uh, bad guys. These are uh, these are cobble. They're all cobble. A cyan, whatever. Uh, I call them piss ants. Now what you may want to do as well is there are a couple bounties up there uh, in the tower that you may want to pick up before starting this mission. One is 200 tiers on Mars and you definitely get that with a combination of the number of enemies and some of the majors which give you I think 20 tiers at a pop. And there's another one I can't remember whether it's you know 30 without a death or 20 without taking fire. I'm not really sure but take that one as well because you should be able to accomplish that. And that's what I'm running with those two bounties. Might be 30 without a death. I think it's, that's predator and prey. Not sure what the name of the one with 200 tears is. Anyway, you see, I'm just slowly advancing here. Clearing a path. My uh, auto rifle here, my primary weapon is the Shadow Price. It's a really slick, legendary uh, auto rifle. Uh, my uh, special weapon is uh, the Chosen Sniper Rifle, which is fully upgraded. And then I can't quite remember, I think the uh, my rocket launcher, my, my uh, heavy weapon is the uh, Steel Oracle. And I actually don't don't use that until the very end of the mission. Okie doke. Just moving on up. Notice that I'm picking up ammo as I go. There's one particular story where you don't have to worry about uh, running out of ammo. Notice how, not that guy right there, not that phalanx, but that that, uh, that captain with the shielding. Notice how quickly I dropped his shields, his over shield and his shields. That's what I mean by this uh, auto rifle. Uh, Shadow Price being a really good weapon. Especially on lower levels. Or lower level enemies. 
Okay. There's another piss ant there. Only problem with the auto rifle, it does bounce a little bit when you fire. So with the phalanxes, you, you really want to hit them in the hands. Uh, that'll knock their shield back a little bit. Or if not, it will act, it will score points, and you can just wear their shields down. <coughs> their, uh, their shielding, if you will, not their real shields. Or their, yeah, their real shields. Okay, we picked up some heavy stuff there. See how quick that captain shields were dropping? It's over shield on his shields. There we go, he's done. Now we don't want to hang around too long at this point because there will be another uh, ship coming in. I'm dropping off more troops. I do not like the, the hunter grenades, at least the trip mine grenades. Now notice that I was taking gas here, so I immediately ran back and hid until I got my shields back. Now, I'm trying to do this without dying at all, so that is a run and hide technique. I picked that up from the Mythic campaign in Halo. Although uh, Halo Mythic has the black eye skull. Which means that you got to melee somebody to get your shields back. All right, we're through there. On to the next. Got lots of ammo. I've got full ammo on my rocket launcher and my sniper, and almost full on my uh, primary. That observation tower overhead. All right. There's bound to be a way to locate the spire there. I'm having a cup of coffee, or a sip from my cup of coffee right at that point. Alright, now it's just a matter of taking out these bad guys. Now, there's, I think there's a couple of uh, Colossus dudes up there on top. There's one of them. And again, I can drop the shields pretty quick with this auto rifle, even at a little bit of distance. Not quite as accurate as my legendary scout rifle, uh, but... I'm actually trying to upgrade this thing, this particular weapon. That's why I'm using it on a tougher stories. I've almost got it upgraded. And my scout rifle is completely upgraded. I'll probably be coming back in here a little bit later on with my uh, level 29 Titan and doing the. Uh, the story at its highest setting so I can pick up two pieces of ascended material. Let's try that terminal. Generally you need ascendant energy to upgrade weapons and ascendant shards to upgrade armor. And I'm trying to upgrade the armor to, to you know bump myself up I'll another level another or defense. actually finally get to twenty nine uh, before I go in and try to get raid gear. These darn stories are only giving me uh, ascendant energy. So when I get ascendant, when I need ascendant uh, shards, I get ascendant energy. And when I need ascendant energy, I get ascendant shards. So it's kind of, uh, kind of wondering. I'm scratching my head on that one, wondering if uh, this is by design. All right, now I'm in an interceptor and having a little bit of fun. I don't need to do this right here, but it also helps with my uh, 200 tears bounty. Okay. But I love this interceptor, even though I can't aim the guns properly. I'm kind of bouncing around a little bit here, but I'm going to take out a few more cobble before I uh, make my next move. Nice one-shot kills there.
Now we're going to have to go back inside through that entranceway, which is well guarded. But with the interceptor, it's just uh, take your time, blast away. This thing is really well armored. You can actually hear the bullets hitting the uh, hitting the metal of the interceptor, and I'm not really taking any damage. So, like I said, I'm not that great a shot. There we go. I think I got him. Got him where he got his shields almost all the way down. Yeah, the longer you stay here, there we go. I've got an ungrade uh, unlocked, and I don't have enough ascendant stuff to, to actually use it. In fact, I think that upgrade might get me to uh, level 28. Big nasty Colossus guy there. Those shields are almost gone. I think I got, yeah, I think I, oh, Centurion. That's who it was. Centurion. Alright, so I cleared the way. I don't think I've got anybody in front of me off to the right there, so I'll just follow the tunnels here. I didn't actually use this in this particular run, but notice I'm positioning the interceptor so I can shoot the left gun at least between those two, uh, whatever they are, those two containers that are blocking my path. Now here we got a run up so far, uh, and initiate the trap, get the uh, bad guys out, and just start blasting away. Um, I think we've got a couple major either Colossus or Captains uh, that we've got to deal with. Other than that, it's it's all Legionaries and Phalanxes and Piss Ants. And those guys, as long as you hit them, aren't that tough to take out. It's the Majors that are a real issue. I heard him growl back there, that's why I retreated. Yeah, it's a Colossus. But uh, see how quickly my uh, auto rifle dropped his uh, overshield, and now I'm just blasting away, making sure that I'm not sitting there in his line of fire grenade-wise, because that grenade launcher he's got is uh, pretty dangerous. So that's, uh, that's one Colossus down. There's a piss ant. Alright, then there's going to be some more coming from the right. Right there, I think that's the final wave. Including a Colossus. Throw a grenade up there just for the heck of it. Just a terrible grenade thrower with his hunter trip mine. I hope that changes when I, uh, when I go start working on the other subclass here. Yeah, let's see how quickly that overshield dropped. And just pumping full of lead. I wish I had a slightly bigger magazine, but that's okay. That takes care of him. Now it's a little bit more clean up here. And when we got them all down, whoops. Didn't see those guys. Anyway, when we got them all down, uh, our friendly ghost will say something to the effect, "I've got the door" or something like that, and then we'll be uh, or put me on the door, and then we'll be uh, ready to advance carefully. Okay, I'll get to work on this door. Oh yeah, there we go. He sounds so excited. Alright, notice how I'm just kind of going through here, grabbing ammo where I can. 
All right, I'm going to wait here. Well, actually, I didn't have to wait, but I was going to wait here to make sure my uh, grenade had recharged because on the other side are three phalanxes, one of which is a major. As soon as the door opens, we need to, we need to throw a grenade at them just to drop, drop their shields down to make it easier to take them out. This is one of those little places where a little strategy or knowing what's going to happen next is important. Well, there they are. Throw that grenade. Got their shields down and then drift back down here. Notice I'm using this up ramp as cover. And here we are, oh, a little more than halfway through the mission, and I've already got my 200 tiers. So that's why that's really a good bounty to, uh, to pick up for this particular uh, story. Okay, now we're on to the final area. And again, it's a matter of fighting through the bad guys and, f and uh, getting the ghost on the uh, getting the ghost on the spire button, if you will, and then that'll draw out the big boss and then take him out and his entourage. That's essentially the rest of the mission. We have to cross that bridge. Well, the story. I keep getting. Uh, to me, these stories are like campaign missions, so. I, I use the terms, uh, sort of interchange the uh, terminology here. All right, notice when I when I got up to that spot right at the top there, that spawned all the legionaries, and they're going to come at me. I did throw a grenade up there because that, that tends to make them stop in their tracks. Uh, they won't charge right into the grenade. They'll try to avoid it. And that gives me time to start taking some of them out before they advance. That's a good tactic to have. Especially when you got to reload. Okay, so that's not too difficult there. All right. And what we got to do here to, to drop the shields on these phalanxes is hit them in the hands, or hit them in the guns, if you will. That's the only exposed part uh, that they have, and you just keep peppering them in their hands, and that'll drop their shields and take them out. Okay. Take this guy out with uh, several snipes. He just kind of stands there and takes it like a knucklehead. All right, now we got probably about oh a little more than a half dozen piss ants to deal with. There's two or three up here, up on this side area here, and then there'll be another squad that appears as soon as I advance up to a point. Yeah, there's three of them, and then a squad will appear about four or five. But they're fairly easy to take out, just a burst or two in the head and they're done for. Alright, he's kinda up there hiding. Ooh, a latecomer. And then over across on the other side here is another squad. And again, just take him out. One of them actually walks into the trip mine. There we finally got him to trip trip the grenade. Notice how when I go to reload, I duck back and cover. No sense in exposing myself as a target when I'm not firing. Alright. Took care of those guys, and I believe there's going to be another squad or two that i got to deal with up here. Yep, and there's a Centurion. Again, notice how quickly that overshield went down. piss ants up here on the right. I'm not in any great hurry here, so I'm just going to work my way around, take out the uh, piss ants, and then work my way back around, see if I can drop the shields a little bit more on this side if they're exposed. Now he will regenerate his over shield, but uh, his regular shield or health, I guess that's what that is. Uh, it's, it will not regenerate, so it's just a matter of dropping the shields, and uh, one sniper round takes him out. 
just didn't want to waste any more auto rifle uh, ammo. And then let's get these last two guys here. Oops, I should say last three guys. Got some scoring points by hitting him in the hand. And that'll take him out. There, a conduit to the spire. Oh, he's so excited. I'm just running around here checking for ammo. Okay. Now we're ready for the big final fight. With the big boss. I have no idea what's about to happen. I'm going to run back down here. What I was going to try to do is entice him to peek his head over the edge there. And so I can take him out with rockets. I have done that in the past, but he was proving to be a little bit uh, difficult in this particular run. I forgot. Okay, let's watch the uh, at least the top half of the spire. See what's going on with that. As soon as all that's done, then the uh, boss and his initial entourage will, will jump out from the right there. There they come. You can see the waypoint for him. But unfortunately, this time he didn't want to advance. I was waiting for him to peek his head over the top there. Yep, guess not. I have to do it the hard way. Let's see what we got here when I, when I kind of peek around the corner. Oh, there he is. So we get a rocket into him. Oh, good, got two. That dropped about half his shields right there. Fortunately, ships dropping in give him reinforcements, so I might have to deal with a couple of those so, so I get a clear path back to him. Oh, I hate these grenades. I like my Titan grenades. Uh, I'm pretty, uh, pretty good feel for him. Not really sure what. Oh, there's the boss. Get the heck out of dodge here. Again, I'm just running the cover while I go through this process here. All right, that didn't do much. Him out. You see what I'm doing? I'm using the bottom of the hill here as cover. Crap. If he's standing right there, I probably should go back over to my rocket launcher and see if I can drop the shields anymore. Alright, that was a legion errors. Oh, there he is. Hit him in the leg. Oh, his shields are almost gone. There we go. That's it. These guys will despawn. They're gone. Alright, now before I activate the eye here, I'm going to run around and grab these drops and grab some ammo. Which is never a bad thing to do. Especially if you're going to stay, stay online and do something else. You'll start out with a, a better numbers in your ammo department. Alright, so that's about as good as I can do ammo-wise, and let's deploy the ghost. I'm going to grab the eye. There we got the eye. And that's it. That is the Daily Heroic Story on level 26 for November 16th. Uh, the gate... Um, the Garden Spire. Uh, I hope this helps you in your quest. This is Olden Aki, signing off. Take care, everybody.